morning everyone uh i think kudos to deepak for a real dil se presentation and i think fabulously setting the context for today i think at this uh summit or by e4m i think it's really great to see that you know how a brand purpose can really be at the center of creating an idea which actually becomes you know consumers uh movement in terms of being more healthy and technology enabling it um you know so at some point of time i really felt that you know there is a wellness session happening here because you could so much resonate with it and you could really feel that the brand is really doing its best in terms of bringing technology in terms of addressing the pain points so once again you know can we give a big round of applause for deepak for that br brilliant session right so from healthy bodies to healthy vehicles to healthy tires to healthy mobility to a healthier environment around us you know that's what i am here today on behalf of apollo tires to talk to you about building a responsible and sustainable business someone mentioned or spoke to me a little while before that uh what is sustainable business and i said you know it lies in the answer the word itself sustainability is what will make a business sustainable so the entire presentation today is actually about giving you a glimpse of apollo tires over its last 50 years how technology has been enabled into its product into us believing that we are contributing back to the environment plus the role that you as individuals as consumers as customers can play and how apollo tires has over the period of time moved out from just selling technology driven tires to solutions and services that is going to enable a much faster greener mobility world out there but before that i thought the very fact that responsibility starts from within i just want to share a small story from my side in terms of you know uh, i moved to gurgaon maybe around 10 months back but one thing that i realized you know i i, I use blue smart and i just happened to check my app this morning in terms of you know what is it that i have maybe contributed back to the environment and this is a picture from this morning itself you know while coming here i looked at the blue smart app i've taken 352 uh, rides which are zero emission rides as per blue smart contributed 430 kilograms of carbon dioxide saved from emitting into the environment and of course you know more than 600 liters of fuel saved now there is a bit of pride that i have within myself as a consumer of contributing back to the environment and i think that story when i take forward to look at from what is happening in the auto world especially in the tire industry world it becomes immensely important for us to see what is it that is happening around us i am told that the largest tire dump yard can be seen from the sky you know so would you call it a seventh wonder or eighth wonder or would you call something else that is you know waiting for us to solve as a society as an industry um uh, zeroing it back into india more than 33 crore vehicles on the road almost 18 crores tires do we even know what happens to those tires once you know you are done with it and you replace with it i think that's a thought i want to uh leave in your mind in terms of what we can do together to see that we can make a much better sustainable business going forward apollo tires has already taken on this mantle of becoming carbon neutral by 2050 our honorable prime minister has spoken about country being carbon zero by 2070 but apollo tires is working very hard in terms of the circular economy in terms of sustainable resourcing of raw materials in terms of working with 
partners in terms of ensuring that how our manufacturing everything is more renewable in terms of energy in terms of using the latest technology whether it is iot whether it is machine learning all of that will contribute towards making us carbon neutral by 2050 uh, we already have actually developed tires on the farm tractor side as well as on the passenger vehicle side which are 75% sustainable material built it uses repurposed rubber it uses a uh, recycled metal it uses the recycled bead all of that that goes into the making of the tire to renew the material into making a much more sustainable tires and that's the promise that we want to do is without compromising on the performance how can we bring sustainability right in the center of what we sell which is tires and you know make the mobility a much greener mobility just for your information the life cycle of a tire from birth to death if it is contributing and making an impact on the environment 90% of it happens when we use those tires which is when we use it on our vehicles right which is including the carbon emissions that we do with the fuels that those cars are running with and the, the other 10% is in the procurement of those tires whether it is in terms of the raw material whether it is in terms of moving the finished goods or in terms of disposing of the tires apollo tires is well geared in terms of ensuring that there is an intervention that we are doing at every stage of the life cycle of a tire for example our uh, andhra pradesh plant is today run on 100% biomass fuel we today have ai and ml industrial 4.0 being deployed in all our plants to bring down the wastage improve the efficiency by 10 to 15% which is a direct correlation to saving of of energy which is again you know better for the environment to ensuring that across 150 um, centers or delivery centers that we have across the country we are working on making the last mile mobility being run on electric vehicles to see that we can contribute back to the environment and of course i'm going to talk a little more in that 90% cycle stage where there's a lot of innovation that has happened in the world of tires whether it's energy efficient ev tires or or light weighting and last but not the least is about recycling the end of life tires taking it back into the raw material through the sustainable source we are working with partners like tyromer to see that we are uh, as extended producers responsibility ensuring that you know every tire that goes out there can be more sustainable than the one that you know last we produced uh, a glimpse of therefore you know what apollo tires has done now this is also technology which is been driven over a several decades here is an example of a product called endurace ld uh, more than 1 crore tires have been sold in the market so far you know it has resulted into significant amount of saving whether we talk about the fuel that it saves you know the numbers speaks for themselves but also in terms of the material that goes behind in the making of these tires that makes it exceedingly important for us to say that sustainability has been at the center of everything that we have been doing uh, like i said it's part of our vision we have been radicalizing the tire industry over the last several decades you all would know there is a bias tire and there is a radial tire and the difference between the two tires is that radial tires are 20% more low on rolling resistance which means almost up to 5% better fuel efficiency and longer life of the tires here is an example of a product called apollo energy which is one of the leading fuel efficient tires that we have developed uh and just a simple maths if one truck runs a year which is a a 12 wheeler truck running almost 120000 kilometers it is almost 
equivalent to planting 51 trees. So that's the amount of saving that you do on the carbon dioxide. And that really talks about driving sustainability at the core of what we offer to our consumers. Still continuing on the journey of the product offering, we all have heard of the EVization that is happening in the mobility space. Maybe a show of hands, how many of us are today driving an electric vehicle? Anyone in this room? Wow, so these are some of the people who are, you know, moving ahead of times in terms of adopting uh, greener options. We have, as Apollo Tires, tires for you. You know, we were amongst the first to develop four two-wheelers and four-wheelers electric vehicle dedicated tires. We also have internationally one of our European brand, Fredestein, is the first SUV electric uh, dedicated tires, which is an all-season tire. Um, all of you know electric vehicles are silent. Electric vehicles, are because they don't have the uh, IC combustion engine, uh, they have much faster traction because of the acceleration. So there is a traction need. And because of the range anxiety, it needs to be far more efficient in terms of giving longer mileage for every battery charge. Happy to say that we've been able to deliver on all the three parameters across our products, ensuring lower noise levels by three to five dB levels to 5% extra range that you could get in the same charge. And of course, a better traction. So you get the same confidence that you can get in any other car when you, when you are in your EV vehicles. I'm sure the people who are in the audience who are driving the EV vehicles, they can feel that the vehicle picks up in lesser than half the time that your regular IC vehicles does to reach 60 km per hour or any other. At the same time, it needs therefore stronger grip. And Apollo Tires has developed that technology to make really EV ready uh, vehicles uh, just a glimpse of what rolling resistance uh, technology can offer back to the environment. This is for the work that we have done over the last four to five years, where we've been able to really deliver much more energy efficient tires, saved more than 204 lakh liters of fuel per year, and which amounts to almost 652 lakh kg of carbon dioxide per year. That's a lot of uh, savings in the form of for the environment and obviously for your pockets as well. Government is obviously looking at what more can be done. The new energy efficient norms by the Bureau of Energy is coming by 2024 January. We all buy appliances. You buy refrigerators, you buy uh, uh, AC, and you're always looking for the star rating on them. Very soon, those star ratings are also going to be there on your tires, which is going to give the power in your hand to make and buy more energy efficient tires. Glad to share that Apollo tires actually have already developed five star tires and it's available across our range of PV vehicles, light duty truck vehicles. And that is again another commitment from Apollo tires to which stay ahead of the time in terms of what we can do with our product and the technology with the purpose of providing sustainability at the center of everything that we do. We also are partnering with the EV ecosystem. So the largest 100% uh, electric cab aggregators that are there in the India, whether it is Blue Smart, whether it is Lithium, uh, they run on Apollo tires, whether it is the OEMs which are leading in terms of bringing the latest EV vehicles out. Some of the pictures uh, tell, would definitely resonate with you in terms of Mahindra and Tata products. They are also running on Apollo tires. So we've been able to get technology well ahead of time and partner with them uh, to EVIs the market going forward. One of the other things that as part of sustainable business is apart from reduce, reuse, I think it is about retreading and renewing the tires. If all our commercial truck customers out there who's uh, running off their 
uh, business and their fleet depends a lot on the cost of the vehicle and its running. At Abolo Tires, we today have more than 48 retread zones where you can actually, it's almost like giving new life back to your tires up to 80% of the original, which makes a lot of sense for them in terms of cost and in terms of giving back again to the environment. The cost can be as less as 25% of an original tire. We do more than 1.2 lakh tires for our customers and they are extremely happy and satisfied in terms of the performance that it gives, them, gives it back to them. Idea is to take it back across the Bharat Mala, you know, that exists in the country to see that all the fleet customers get their services as promptly as possible. Having said that, in terms of what we are doing for our commercial truck customers and in terms of what we offer in the EV world, I also want to talk about the fact that, you know, all of us are today discovering products well early before even we buy them. At Apollo Tires, we also have an e-commerce uh, platform of buy online and fit offline, which is tailor-made for you to discover the right product, the right fitment of the tire, which is a very, very important thing that you get the right tire fitted for your cars. As an organization, we ensure that there is algorithm, there is machine learning, which proposes you and suggests and recommends you the right tire at the right dealer directs you, takes an appointment for your uh, vehicle, at the same time triggers at the back end to the supply chain to ensure that the tire is available at the dealer so that your experience is seamless from online to offline. With more than 3 million people coming on our platform on a monthly basis, we've got almost 50 to 60,000 consumers today engaging through this platform in buying their tires. And in this journey, they are being recommended the right tires, which often they may not get when they reach out in, in a regular environment, in an open market. So you are taking informed choices when you are actually joining Apollo Tires early in this journey. Uh, I think one of the biggest innovation that we are seeing happening is digitization of the tire records that exist. We have launched a digital app called Evolve. It offers an end-to-end -end tire management services for our fleet customers. Imagine a large fleet customer with more than 100 trucks, which might be carrying your essential medicines to, uh, to your loved durables that you would want at your home or for that matter, the fresh vegetables that might be uh, moving from the farms into the cities. Now, how do they ensure that they optimize these trucks so that they don't fail at the wrong time? Uh, their uptime is always up. There is a lot of dependence on the performance of the tires. Today at Apollo through Evolve, we are able to generate more than 50 data points for a tire in terms of its health, in terms of where it is, in terms of where in the uh, vehicle it is fitted, what is its tire pressure, what is its temperature, what is its tread wear length, everything to ensure that it gives predictive analysis to see that the life of the tire, when is right time for it to be switched at the same time being extended which has given almost 10 to 15% operational efficiencies to our fleet customers. And they are able to therefore keep the uptime of the trucks much higher, resulting into delivering for their customers in much faster and in lesser cost. This is an innovation where we have worked significantly with, uh, with our knowledge partners who have brought in the whole understanding of how can we use data analytics how can we use performance uh, in terms of understanding the machine learning and hence uh, offer that to our customers in a big way. Our ambition is to take it to all the large fleet customers in the country and then slowly take it to the smaller and the medium sized fleet customers and there's been a encouraging response on the same. Last but not the least, I also want to talk about the fact that 
Apollo Tires is also repurposing tires for the new generation. Let me show you how. We dare to dream, overcome the odds, believe in ourselves, and hope to change the world. We don't need a reason to care. We just need opportunities to unleash our potential and achieve our goals. Every year, around one billion tires end their purpose and are discarded. And in the right hands, these tires can help save the environment to make the world a better place. So we had an idea. We decided to use rubber from old tires to make crumbs to create sustainable football pitches, giving us access to sport while bringing people closer together. Together, we can go the distance, lay the grounds for a better future. Yes, that's we our tires to turf journey. We have started it with almost. 20 pitches that exist across three countries. We plan to take it to 100 pitches at least, apart from the playgrounds that we have invested wherever our plants are. And this has been uh, a very, very exciting journey for us because it allows us to also make tires relevant and the brand relevant to the young consumers. And as we all know, football is one of the growing sport and one of the passion that all the kids want to really explore. So it allows the brand to give back to the society in a way where the kids also connect and relate back to the brand. And that's something that we will continue working on going forward. Now, having said that in terms of, you know, how purpose is in the center of driving our product strategy, our service strategy, our consumer engagement strategy. I think I would also use this opportunity to say that what can be your part in terms of contributing back to the environment? What can you do? You know, P, which is pressure. Many of us today are driving tires, uh, sorry, driving vehicles which have got tire pressure monitoring system, right? For those who don't, I think it's very important to check tire pressure. A for alignment, wheel alignment is not only important for your tire life, it's extremely important for your vehicle maintenance as well as for your vehicle longevity and for the performance that you get out of it. Rotation is a very important part of ensuring that the tire is rotated periodically. And last but not the least, tread wear indicator. I'm sure many of us in the room may or may not know how to look for the tread wear uh, I will not bore you here on that. There is enough on the YouTube to see. But it's a very important piece for us to see that, you know, while bald people can be in fashion, but bald tires can't be. So please watch out for that tread wear indicator on your vehicle. And if you do uh, and play your part as suggested here, I can tell you that you can get 30 to 50% more life out of your vehicle's tire. And as a result, it only not only contributes back to the environment, but it is also lighter on your pocket. So it really makes sense for you to see that tire, which is the most critical part between you and the road in terms of safety and performance is also taken care. And you look at the health of the tire um, today with the same level that you would see any other performance that you want from your vehicle. And in the end, I just want to reinforce as to what all Apollo Tires has been doing over the last several years and how we are ready for the future.
that's it thank you from my side and let's together go green go the distance thank you so much mr vikram garga for your wonderful wonderful insights and especially how you brought the sustainability angle we just celebrated the world environment day around 10 days back and it was beautiful to see what you are doing i also loved the name evolve it very similar to evolve and i i'm sure it has been kind of taken from there and it also brought the lessons of physics you know the rotation and you know the way you were sharing i'm sure most of us would relate to that so thank you so much uh one question i have for you if marketers had the ability to control one social media platform for a day which platform would you choose and why for a day yes all right i think uh today people's life is taken over by social media right and often the trend setting happens though at twitter uh, if i could use that word because uh people pick up news people pick up events people pick up information on twitter and often look for authenticity and credibility of that information coming from that source i would say that maybe uh if it's a very very important event if it's a very important milestone it's something that one is really looking for credibility maybe twitter is the place to go for uh but i would want to also mention that the new age uh consumers are also very very uh information hungry on other social media platforms and instagram for example is really picking up and today i think instagram is uh not only entertaining people it is not only engaging them in terms of uh information and knowledge but it is also allowing them to actually share their point of view in a very very interesting and engaging manner so i see there is a lot of engagement uh that happens on the instagram uh so if it is about uh you know two way engagement and it is about giving uh someone the uh, the power of reaching out even if you are a common man sometimes i find instagram does that job better whereas on twitter you need big followers uh and then you follow them so i think i will have to make uh two choices and not one choice for this thank you thank you